Hey, right, what's up, fam? Welcome to Ask the My Aunt. My name is Ayize My Aunt, and I'm normally doing these videos with my beautiful and incredible wife, Fiona My Aunt. But um, I'm in a hotel room, y'all. The day after our Black Marriage Day event, um, I had to had to um, leave out of town to come to a training. So, um, so we ain't together right now. But in any event, I'm gonna keep it rolling. Um, today, what I want to talk about, y'all, is that it's healing. Um, through being transparent and being vulnerable in your relationship. And the reason why I'm lifting this up is because just this past Sunday we had our Black Marriage Day DC event and um, a number of cats came up to me after the event and said that they were moved, they were transformed, they were renewed, they were rejuvenated, uh, reinvigorated in their relationships. And I was surprised because, you know, guys don't necessarily always enter into that space of, of um, sharing stuff like that. So when they shared that with me, I was like, wow. Um, and what they spoke specifically to was the fact that they were moved by seeing other men being vulnerable and being transparent about their experiences in their relationship with their woman and um, in their relationships when they were growing up, specifically with their parents. Um, and so in particular, there was one story that we had somebody come on the stage share, and um, it was about how he had witnessed um, domestic violence, he had witnessed emotional abuse, um, he had experienced emotional abuse himself growing up, and how that had impacted his ability to be connected with his woman. How do you identify yourself as a man? How do you deal with conflict? How do you effectively communicate with your partner in a relationship when the people who um, that you were raised by had difficulty um, working things out in their relationship and you witnessed violence as the um, as the resource or the tool that they use to try to resolve their issues you know so you being an adult you walk around dealing with that stuff y'all you know you're wrestling with um, you know how do I how do I how do I connect how do I enter into a space of intimacy? What does vulnerability look like? But I salute and I applaud that brother for for being willing to um, stand in front of 240 people and tell his story, to be honest, to be transparent, and um, and to tell his truth. He owned it and he shared it and it healed some dudes who was in the audience. And so I applaud him for being able to do that. And we also had a guy come up um, who was talking about how after being in a happy marriage. Um, money coming in good, you know, you're connected with your woman, you got your family, and you discover, just through flipping through some pictures on MySpace, that you see a child who looks like you. And you're like, what the hell? So you make contact with the woman um, who owned that particular page, and you're like, hold up, yo. This picture that I'm looking like, what's going on? He looked like me. And so this guy he had learned that he had a 12 year old son who was walking around in the world and he had no knowledge of and so this devastated him devastated him emotionally because as a man he wants to take care of his seed if he has a seed that he's aware of he's going to step up to the plate and make sure that all things are covered um, and so he had no knowledge and so he had to take that back to his wife and it just rocked the relationship I mean to learn that you have your own family, but to learn that you now have a 12-year-old who's coming into a picture um, and who's impacting your relationship based off of some decisions that you made prior to getting married, it was like, whoa, whoa. So they had to make some adjustments, but even in that story, what was amazing is that it was renewing, it was refreshing because this brother stepped into it. He stepped into it and he took ownership of the fact that this is my child, which was the right thing to do. But he got advice from other men saying that don't do it, don't call her, don't say nothing about it, all is good, life is well, go on about your business. But nah, bro, he was a man. He was a man and he stepped into the situation. He made the phone call. He took ownership of the fact that this is my child. I can't turn my back on my child. I ain't a man if I turn my back on my child. What kind of man am I if I decide to do so? And so his wife said to him, I wouldn't be with him if he had done so. Because my father walked out on me. And so how can I be with a man who's going to turn his back on his child if my father walked out on me? And I know what the pain of that feels like. She said, I love him because he stepped towards that situation. It was really powerful, y'all. It was, it was really, really, really an amazing experience. And so a number of guys just came up to me, you know, wanting to take pictures, wanting to show love, and just wanting to say thanks. Thank you for putting this event together and, and, and allowing men, allowing me to see other men being willing to be vulnerable, to be, to be, just to be transparent about what they had been through. And that was definitely a healing experience for me. So at the beginning of the event, I'm going to wrap it up, y'all. At the beginning of the event, 
I was actually astounded by the number of males that I saw in the audience. The number of men I saw in the audience was amazing. So I had um, all the men stand up, and all you did was hear claps. Because the popular perception, or what's projected out there, especially in popular media, is that men don't really value relationships. Men don't value love. Men don't value being connected. Men don't come to stuff like this. But when you saw all of the dudes stand up, and you heard all of the applause, it was mind-blowing, y'all. Men represent it. And I'm so thankful, and I salute all of y'all who were there. And even those who weren't there, but those who watch these videos and hold it down, I salute you. I, supply, I applaud you. And y'all, for those of you who struggle with this whole transparency piece, this whole vulnerability piece, it's not something that you conquer overnight. It's not something that you probably actually even, you have to go through it on an ongoing basis. You know, you work through it through the rest of your life, but as you continue to take steps towards being vulnerable and being transparent, you get stronger. Vulnerability does not make you weak. It makes you strong. So as always, y'all, I'm encouraging you to continue to step towards that space of vulnerability and transparency. But in order to do that, you got to make it a point to stop playing and start pushing.